Hello viewers. Welcome to another video today on 9 foods that stop colon polyps and colon cancer. Colon cancer is also known as colorectal cancer, bowel cancer, or rectal cancer. It is the third most common type of cancer for both men and women. Colorectal cancer starts when tumors or polyps develop in the lining of the colon or the end part of large intestine, which is called the rectum. The tumors and polyps, when not removed earlier, can grow over time, then become cancerous, and spread in the other parts of body. The good news is, colon cancer is treatable and curable especially if diagnosed early. Nearly everyone survives bowel cancer, if diagnosed at the earliest stage. Your colon needs the right amount of omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, flavonoids and phytochemicals to prevent tumors from growing. Dietary fiber is also essential, as it promotes regular bowel movement and helps limit bacteria build up. Smart food choices may help you lower your chances of getting colon polyps and bowel cancer. Some studies say that people who eat right, exercise, stay a healthy weight, and keep alcohol to a minimum may cut their odds of the disease by more than a third. In today's video, we're going to talk about 9 foods that help stop colon polyps and colorectal cancer. Be sure to watch to the end, so you don't miss out any chance to reduce your risk of developing colorectal cancer and also improve your overall health. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational and informational purposes only and is no substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. So do speak to your doctor for a medical diagnosis if you have any health concerns. If you find the video informative and helpful, like and share it with your loved ones to protect their health. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to stay updated on new videos. Let's start with number 1. Walnuts. Walnuts are as one of few tree nuts, which have omega-3 fat along with other nutrients, that help reduce inflammation in the body. Walnuts pack the most significant anti-cancer punch against colon cancer. They provide healthy fats, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. And that's just the beginning of how they may support your overall health and your colon. Walnuts are an excellent source of antioxidants that can help fight oxidative damage in your body. They have, the most polyunsaturated fatty acids of all the commonly eaten tree nuts, as well as the highest ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids, and high levels of a form of vitamin E with anti-cancer properties, all of which help fight oxidative stress and inflammation, the root of many diseases, including colon polyps and colon cancer. Many studies show that walnut consumption may reduce colon tumor development, and walnuts may also act as a probiotic to make the colon healthy, which in turn offers protection against colon tumors. You can sprinkle walnuts onto oatmeal or other hot or cold cereals, stir them into pancakes, muffins, or other quick breads, or toss them with vegetables or into salads. They are a great choice for snack too. 2. Sauerkraut Sauerkraut is a type of fermented cabbage and is one of the richest sources of vitamins and minerals in the world, which are essential for the body. It contains vitamin C, vitamin K1, copper, potassium, iron, and manganese. One cup of sauerkraut contains an enormous 700 milligrams of vitamin C, that's over eight times the minimum daily requirements. Cancer often spreads into areas of inflammation and swelling in your body, where your tissue are inflamed. However, vitamin C in sauerkraut helps lower the inflammation in your gut and remove free radicals in your blood in order to reduce the cancer risk. It is also a rich source of fiber that can help increase the bulk, soften the stool, and keep you regular, helping your colon clean and healthy. As it's fermented, it's rich in prebiotics and probiotics that promote better absorption of vitamins and minerals, help to feed your colon cells, and prevent the growth of polyps, tumors, and bowel cancer. 
The cabbage in sauerkraut contains a rich compound called sulforaphane. Sulforaphane helps reduce DNA damage, prevent cell mutations, and block the excessive growth of cells which typically leads to tumor development. This protects against cancer, especially colorectal cancer. You should eat a serving of sauerkraut three times a week. However, unlike cabbage, sauerkraut can be high in sodium. Keep this in mind if you're watching your salt intake. Other excellent fermented foods you can add into your diet are plain Greek yogurt, kimchi, miso, and kefir. 3. Chia Seeds Chia seeds, native to Mexico and Guatemala, are an excellent source of vitamins, minerals, and powerful antioxidants. These nutrients help provide many significant health benefits. When it comes to colon health, these little seeds are a complete game changer. They are an excellent source of dietary fiber. Eating a recommended daily dosage of 2 tablespoons of chia seeds will give you a whopping 10 grams of fiber, as much as 40% of your daily needs. High fiber content supports your digestive system by moving stool through your colon and brings toxic chemicals and other substances like cholesterol out of your system. Nutrients within fiber may also affect the colon on a cellular level to guard against disease. In addition, chia seeds are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and an excellent source of antioxidants, which been shown to decrease inflammation in the colon, stop cancer cell growth, and even promote the death of colon cancer cells. They're also high in protein. Containing all nine essential amino acids, they become a perfect choice for vegetarians, vegans, and people who want to cut down meat consumption in their diet. Chia seeds are incredibly easy to incorporate into your diet. They taste rather bland, so you can add them to pretty much anything. They can be eaten raw, soaked in water, juice or milk, or added to oatmeal, pudding, smoothies, and baked goods. You can also sprinkle them on top of cereal, yogurt, vegetables, or rice dishes. Plus, they work wonders in homemade fritters as a binding agent. 4. Beans and Lentils Beans and lentils can go a long way in keeping your digestive system healthy, help prevent colon polyps and bowel cancer. They have a lot of fiber, which can help promoting regular bowel movements, prevent constipation and keep your colon clean and healthy to lower the risk of developing colon polyps and cancer. Consuming fiber makes it easier to get rid of waste, which reduces the amounts of time the colon is exposed to things that can cause cancer. Beans and lentils contain powerful compounds such as polyphenol and flavonoids, which can keep tumors from growing and protect against oxidative stress and inflammation that are linked to cancer. They're also a fantastic source of plant-based protein and very rich in essential nutrients like folate, iron, zinc, and manganese. And they have a low glycemic index, meaning they won't spike up your blood sugar levels. All of these make them a great choice for vegetarians, vegans, diabetics, and people who want to reduce meat intake in their diet. However, beans contain lectins, which is a major cause of chronic inflammation. Be sure to soak them in water several hours before cooking to inactivate most lectins. This is because lectins are water soluble and typically found on the outer surface of a food, so exposure to water removes them. When it comes to adding them to your diet, they can be used as salad base or added to a salad you already have. They can be added to soups, stews, or stir-fried dishes. You also can use them as a meat substitute in your favorite dishes or make dips and spreads like hummus. Roasted chickpeas and lentils are great choices for healthy snack. 5. Non-starchy vegetables most of vegetables contain health-enhancing fiber, vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, which may block the growth of cancer cells or fight the inflammation that can fuel cancer. However, excessive consumption of starchy vegetables, such as potatoes, butternut squash, turnips, corn, and green peas can increase the risk of type 2 diabetes, 
which is not only a serious health issue, but also a risk factor for colon cancer. Therefore, it's best to focus on non-starchy vegetables, such as broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, celery, cucumbers, kale, lettuce and spinach, to lower the risk of colon polyps and colon cancer. Green leaves like kales, spinach, lettuce, and collard greens have a lot of fiber, antioxidants and other plant-based compounds that fight cell damage caused by free radicals. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and Brussels sprouts are high in fiber and chemicals called glucosinolates, which have been shown to help protect your cells from damage, including the damage that leads to cancer. So try to eat at least 3 to 5 servings of non-starchy vegetables per day to keep your colon healthy. 6. Fruits Scientists have found that eating a lot of fruits can protect against several types of cancer, including colorectal cancer. That's because they're full of vitamins, minerals, and especially phytochemicals, all of which help reduce oxidative stress, inflammation, and DNA damage. Most fruits are high in fiber and vitamin C, which can help lower the inflammation in your gut and remove free radicals in your blood, which in turn reduce the risk of developing colon polyps and bowel cancer. Some healthy and delicious choices for cleaning your colon include citrus fruits, apples, pears, berries, kiwis, cantaloupes, and mangoes. 7. Red Meat Substitutes a juicy burger hot off the grill may tempt your taste buds, but it can be bad news for your colon. Several studies have shown that a regular diet of red meat, like beef, pork, and lamb, and processed meats like hot dogs, pepperoni, and cold cuts, have been directly linked to an increased risk of polyps in the colon and colon cancer. Furthermore, another study found that People who ate less red meat and more plant-based proteins had a lower risk of colon cancer. One way to lower the risk is to replace red meat with plant-based protein sources like beans and legumes, soy products such as tofu and tempeh, and whole grains like oats, brown rice, and quinoa. Other healthier alternatives include white meats, such as skinless chicken and turkey, and eggs. 8. Whole Grains Many studies show that eating whole grains can actually reduce inflammation in the body and reduce the risk of colon cancer. What makes whole grains healthier than other types of grains? Whole grains are less processed grains, which have all three parts of grains, bran, germ, and endosperm. They are packed with nutrients and are good sources of magnesium, selenium, and fiber. They keep your stools moving and along the way, they may grab onto cancer-causing compounds in your colon. Aim for 90 grams of whole grains daily. Oatmeal, whole wheat bread, and brown rice are good options. Some whole grains contain gluten, which is not good for people with celiac disease or gluten intolerance. The good news is, if you do have to avoid gluten, there are plenty of gluten-free whole grains, including brown rice, quinoa, corn, buckwheat, amaranth, millet, sorghum, and some oats. You can make small, daily changes to your diet to increase your whole grain intake. Here are a few tips to get started. Eat a high fiber, whole grain breakfast cereal or oatmeal. Choose whole grain pasta, bread, tortillas, bagels, and buns. Try new grains like quinoa, barley, buckwheat, millet, and whole rye. Buy large amounts in bulk and add them to salads and soups. Eat whole grain snacks like plain popcorn. 9. Fatty Fish Consuming fish regularly is linked to a lower risk of colorectal cancer. According to a research, people who had colorectal cancer and increased their intake of omega-3 from fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and trout had a lower risk of mortality compared to those who avoid fish. This is because omega-3 fatty acids may stop cancer cell growth and even promote the death of colon cancer cells. Another research team from Vanderbilt University found out that women who eat three servings of fish per week reduce their risk of developing colon polyps at around 33 percent. 
While some studies have explored the link between eating fish and the risk of getting colorectal cancer, more research still needs to be done. But, fatty fish are always a great healthy choice to add into any diet to boost your overall health. You can add fish to your diet by making it as your main dish during your meals or adding it to your salad. The great thing about fish is that you can enjoy it in different ways such as by grilling, baking, or poaching it. Either way fish offers so many tasty possibilities. Try to eat at least two servings of fatty fish a week to reduce your risk of colon polyps and bowel cancer. But limit swordfish, tuna, tilefish, shark, and king mackerel. They may have mercury and other pollutants that can harm your health over time. So there you have it, 9 foods that help prevent colon polyps and bowel cancer. I hope you like the tips that were shared in the video, and hopefully you're now one step closer to improving your diet, keeping colon clean and healthy, and improving your overall health. If you have anything to add, please leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a healthy and happy day.